Hi class, welcome to Miss and Baseway's first video. Miss and Baseway is trying out this video to see how it all works and I will be reading different books to you. Um, once you get the video link, let me know if you got it and if you were able to view the video um, so that Miss and Baseway knows that she's doing the right thing. All right, so Tiny Rabbit's Big Wish by Margarita Engel. So if you remember in the beginning of the school year, we did a worksheet after we read this book and we talked about the tiny rabbit and you guys were able to draw your rabbit. So I decided to read this book because it reminds me of when we started school and how we all really loved this story and how we all talked about how we're special. Um, and this little rabbit is really special. And so we're going to read it again. Tiny Rabbit's Big Wish. A tiny rabbit dreamed. I wonder what she's dreaming about. You can, you can think about um, if you remember the story and what she's dreaming about. Of growing as huge as the forest with legs as tall as trees and eyes the size of moons. He wished for a nose as long as an elephant's trunk. Well, look here. Miss and Baseway said she. Huh. It's actually a he. And he wished for a tail as gigantic as a mountain. Tiny Rabbit wished and wished, but no matter how enormous his big wish grew, he was still tiny. So do you think he was happy that even though he made all of these wishes that he was still tiny? What do you think? No, he was not happy. And you can see by our little picture clues, right? Look at him. He's really, really sad. His arms are down. His eyes are down. He has a very, uh, uh, a frown. So that lets us know that he's not happy that his wish didn't come true. So he wished some more, and while he was wishing, time passed, and he grew. But he grew only a little bit. So Tiny Rabbit wished and wish that he could grow as sky high as a giraffe. And he did grow. <gasps> How do you think he grew? How tall do you think he grew? But he grew only to the height of a slightly taller, small rabbit. So Tiny Rabbit started wishing to grow as powerful as a gorilla. So he wanted to be strong. What are some other words that you can think of um, besides the word strong? Tell your, tell your mom or your dad or one of your family members, what are some words that you can come up with that are just like the word strong and powerful? What about mighty and super and, hmm, I want you to tell me one. But instead, he grew only two long, tall, powerful ears to help him hear every loud or quiet 
sound in the forest. So remember, when we read this story, we said he grew those two powerful ears, and that helped him hear every single thing in the forest. So even though he was this tiny rabbit, he had these big, powerful ears that would help him stay safe and hear things um, in the forest as he lived there. Tiny Rabbit's big ears helped him hear rhino stomping. <gasps> Eagle screeching, frogs trumpeting, thunder booming, branches crashing, and a mischievous monkey cheerfully chatting. Tiny Rabbit could even hear leaves rustling, beetle jaws crunching, and butterfly wings flapping. Best of all, Tiny Rabbit's wonderful ears could always hear whenever a huge, hungry lion was near. <gasps> I want you to make a prediction. And remember, the word prediction is a really, really big word, but really it means your best guess. What do you think is going to happen on the next page? We're making our prediction, which is our best guess. We're looking at our picture clues. We see this lion approaching the rabbit with his tongue sticking out. He's like, hmm. Sounds good. Mm. Or it tastes yummy. Mm. I wonder if I'm going to have rabbit for dinner. Or he could be a nice lion. He could be just coming and say hi. You never know. We'll see. So that tiny rabbit could jump, thump, hop. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, we got it. To his tiny, cozy, safe, hidden rabbit den. So the rabbit was like, I am not going to stay and wait to see what he's going to do to me. I'm just going to hop in my small little rabbit den, which is basically his hole in the ground that will keep him nice and safe until the lion goes by. But the lion looks like maybe he just wanted to play. He's looking at the rabbit like, why are you going down there? I was just coming to say hello, but the rabbit's like, nope, 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 not today. Where he was enormously happy to be smart and small. The end. So this book was about our tiny little rabbit and his big wish. And we can go back and talk about what was his big wish? These are things that you can talk about with your family members. What was his big wish? What did he always want it to be? What size did he want to be? Did he want to stay small? Did he want to grow really, really tall and big? Did he get his wish? And then another question you can ask is, if he didn't get the wish that he wanted, what did he get instead? These are some questions to think about and talk with your family members about. I hope you enjoyed this book. This is Miss Mbezwe's first time doing a video. So I hope you enjoyed it and we'll do more and more and more, okay? Bye.